A major rescue operation is underway in China after a cruise ship carrying 458 people capsized on the Yangtze River. Efforts now turn to search and rescue teams who are using a hammer to signal to trapped survivors. The captain and his engineer have been detained. This is a desperate effort to locate survivors. On the upturned hull of the boat, a rescue worker uses a hammer to signal to passengers thought to be trapped in an air pocket. They have heard noises from people inside, but getting to them is a huge challenge. The Eastern Star was on a popular tourist route towards the spectacular Three Gorges when the accident happened late last night in bad weather. The boat floated upturned for three kilometers down this vast river before grounding in shallower waters. Of the 458 on board, the youngest was just three and the oldest 83. Most were in their 60s. The panic as the boat went down would have been that much worse given that many Chinese are unable to swim. It's not something many learn as children. These photographs obtained by Sky News show the particularly difficult work as victims are recovered and in foggy conditions. This is the Eastern Star, described as a luxury cruiser. It has three classes of cabin, bars, restaurants and a karaoke stage. A full rescue operation is now in place, but only since daylight have the workers been able to manage any real progress at all. The boat's captain and chief engineer both survived. They're now being questioned by authorities. China's Prime Minister has been at the scene on board another boat, an indication of just how serious an incident this is. There will be questions for him as to why it took a full 10 hours before state media was authorised to report on the tragedy. For now, though, all the focus and the effort is on those noises from within the hull. Mark Stone, Sky News in China.